Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, we have the DevStream 177 recap for Dante Unbound, the next Warframe update that is coming in March. So, let's take a look at it, take a look at all of the new skins, see what's going on. New Warframe at Dante, they went over his abilities quickly, Inaros rework, Inaros is essentially just what he is right now, but better and a little upgraded, so in a good way, and so much more. So, everybody, starting off, they just started talking about, hey, new Mesa Prime figure, okay? Mesa figurine, sorry, it's in the Warframe shop for about 170 US plus shipping and stuff, so, yeah, 10 VIP, okay? Coming out, 2024, PAX East, if you bought your tickets, you're already going there. Awesome, sweet, great. We're just gonna quickly blast through the front stuff. Warframe's 11 year anniversary. We're, we're in it. We did it, everyone. We're alive for 11 years. We are getting the Dax Nikana, and it should have 11 emissions because 11 years. So Dax, Dex, Dex Nikana. I can't speak. <clears throat> so this was like the first new thing they showed off. Warframe, 11 years, Dex Nikana, baby. And you want to know what else they leaked? That's right, not leaked, sorry. But Tenocon tickets are going live March 28th, 2024. So yeah, if you're gonna go to Tenocon, London, Ontario, have fun. I do not plan on going anytime soon. I went for the 10th year, that was cool. Tenocon this year is two years, or sorry, two days, okay? So keep that in mind, it's gonna be a long one. It's gonna be a long one. There was a lot they talked about. There's a cosplay contest. The submissions closed June 23rd, so get on it if you plan to enter there. And there's a community showcase contest, all for Tenocon, closing June 23rd as well. So make sure you go do that if you want to. They quickly, well, Rebecca at some point quickly leaked Protea Prime. So Protea Prime is going to be the next Prime. Uh, she quickly said Protea Prime in regards to like having a sweet emission or some sweet, uh, visual emission on a Warframe, or like Universal Aura Mod, sorry. So, awesome, okay? Protea Prime, everyone. Protea Prime, Protea Prime, Protea Prime. We love Protea Prime. We are we are the cult of Protea Prime, we love it. So, continuing on, there's just some shenanigans they're talking about, right? Warframe Mobile, it's getting fixed up next update. They're fixing some abilities. They can't fix everything, but they'll fix it up hopefully today, if not, more fixes next week. Warframe Mobile on iOS, everyone. Clap, clap, clap. Here are some Tenogen skins. We have Sevagoth Tenogen. They accidentally said Deluxe. Beautiful skin. We have a little back piece right there. We have the little eyeball. We have the weapon right here, okay? We have, I think that is, is that Ureli? No, no, that's Gyre Deluxe. Gyre, Ureli, something like that. Sorry, dogs are barking in the background. Uh, no, there's the Ureli headpiece. I think that's Gyre. Or maybe it's Ureli. God, why is my brain broken right now? Yeah, Gyre Deluxe? Okay, Gyre. Whoa. Either way, uh, awesome skin. We have Ureli's headpiece right there. Mantis skin, I think that's what it's called. Either way, infested ship. Good stuff. Yeah, this was the first 15 minutes so far, okay? First 20 minutes. They went through a bunch of audio stuff, so we'll quickly skip through that because we're not listening to a bunch of audio stuff. Then they went over Dante. New Warframe, Dante has a exalted book on his first ability. This is Dante, okay? Here's how Dante works. Dante has second ability, I think. I might mess this up a little bit, but second ability is light, third ability is dark. Light attack is a little like heal. Dark attack is a shadow slash. Alt helmet for Dante right there. You either have the beard or you have the like wispy head. So floats like wisp. So Dante is scholar, wizard, guy with a hat. Pretty good overall, welcome Ruben. 10 out of 10, universal aura mod, like Protea Prime. Protea Prime, Protea Prime, Protea Prime, Protea Prime. So Dante OPOP. 10 out of 10, Grimoire, right? There's the Noctua, the exalted, I believe, Grimoire. So if you like it, you like it. It can have every single Grimoire mod on it at a time. Boom, baby. Guess what? It's the future. We can use every Grimoire mod on Dante, God is real, and he is in the form of a Grimoire mod. So Dante works pretty similar, like pretty easily. You just use your abilities, self heal. You chain your second and your third ability together. Your fourth ability sets off the chain of light attack or dark attack or light light attack or dark dark attack or light dark attack or dark light attack. So you chain your second and third ability down here to open up your book and then you use your fourth ability to pop open your book 
as like use the ability. So your fourth ability is essentially six abilities because you can use your light ability and then your fourth ability. You can use dark and then fourth. You can use light, light, and then fourth. You can use dark, dark, and then fourth. And then you can use light, dark, and then fourth. And you can use light, dark, and then fourth, or dark, light, and then fourth. See, you chain up your abilities here and then you use your fourth ability. It's kind of like how Lavos chains together his elements to form reactions. You chain together your second and third ability to create a spell on your fourth ability and it has six combinations. So all of the combinations will be talked about more in depth. Uh, they had a big showcase and talk about it, but essentially just like, hey, more damage, more heals, more ability damage, AOE attack, right? Just damage. So it's gonna be pretty fun. He looks pretty cool and I'm all for his exalted book. So they just kind of show off Dante here for a while. Look, slash, slash attack, right? Oh, right. big damage, big damage. Dante, awesome bro. They throw, they show off the Gruzzling. This is Gruzzling, Gruzzler. Steals some loot, but not really. It's a loot goblin. It dr can drop arcanes, other cool stuff, etc., etc. So you probably don't need it if you fully farmed up the update already, but if they bring out new arcanes, it might help. Here's some Dante idol animations. He looks like kind of a shit posty troll. Like what, what the hell is that? Just holds out his hand, brings out his book, book floats around, just hanging out. What's Dante doing? We don't know. Dude's unbound, right? Soma. Cool, has a lot of awesome idol animations. So another thing they talked about, right? We're about halfway through the dev stream right now. And then they show off uh, more audio stuff. It's just how audio is cool, nice. This is how we farm Dante. It will th be through a new mission uh, disruption that you run, you'll get loot from it. And then you buy it from Lloyd on the new Deimos tile sets for Entrati, right? So new area makes sense. There's new mission types, but the new mission that you get these drops from is the new disruption. And you can also buy the new two Incarnan weapons, Ruvox and Onos and some other stuff later on. So that's how you farm up Dante. Love it, hate it. I don't know, that's up to you to decide. This is the Dante Unbound Intrati game modes. So Intrati Disruption, the new one, that's how you farm the stuff we just went over. And there's the new resource, Vessel Capillaries. That's how you buy it. So Deep Archimedia is a new Netracel-like game mode. Kavia rank five required, hardest mode. Weekly challenge compromise of three missions that must be played uninterrupted. Special difficulty modifiers to increase reward points. Use two Netracel searches for up to five rewards. And then guaranteed legendary arcane at the highest difficulty plus increased chance at higher tier rewards. So it uses some Netracel runs to get you more loot and give you more stuff. And that is good. Like this is a good thing overall. They're kind of decommissioning calls shop more for the Necroloid Lloyd here as well as human Necroloid Lloyd. So yeah, it's kind of weird. We'll eventually know more, but this is the menu. They have the research value here. They have uh, one, two, three loot ticks here. And then the fourth and fifth here. You can do more of the research modifiers like using weapons warframes to get more points to get more loot. And then you can throw on debuffs to get more points to get more loot. And then that's how it works. You run the mission all at once. So you run an exterminate in theory for this one that goes into a defense that goes into an assassination. One mission, three missions, right? So it just chains together. You kill people and then it goes, hey, go defend the target and then you go defend it. And then it's like, hey, go kill. Sorry, dog's freaking out. Someone's here to pick them up probably. And then you go to the assassination and kill all the enemies. You don't have to use all the modifiers, but you can use all the modifiers if you want to get all of the loot all at once. God, my dogs are crazy, right? The dog that taken out, uh... yeah, no, they're insane. They're just insane. There's all I have to say there. Either way, here's the new Incarnan melee, Onos. It's my dog, Ruben Corgi, as well as the dog my wife takes care of, the little chihuahua that's squeaking around. Sounds like a little, ch little chipmunk. Either way, Onos is a melee coin weapon. It has a coin audio, the new Incarnan melee, and that's how it looks like when it goes Incarnan. Yeah, pretty cool. Not much to say around it other than cool melee, cool weapon. It should do good damage, hopefully, and we'll test it out when it comes out if we play it and end up farming it quickly. So, yeah. More stuff, Steinax Deluxe. Look at those nipple tassels. Okay, Warframe, can't can't stop, won't stop. New Melee Staff skin with the Steinax Deluxe. Steinax Deluxe skin looks dope though. Looks cool as shit, it's very bulky, very big, has wings going out the side. Looks like an absolute cannibal of a Warframe. Awesome, love it, very pretty, very beautiful. Here's a Steinax Deluxe. 
with a ton of different color customization, random options. Beautiful desert, or sorry, no, that was nature. Uh, that's, yeah, yeah, though there's desert version. Okay, there's grass version, grass and dirt. Nice, nice. Either way, it's a cool skin. I'm all for it. If you're going to buy it, good job. And hey, if you ever want to support the channel, you can like my YouTube videos, subscribe on any of the social medias, join my YouTube membership, donate, or use Epic Games Creator Code Pupsker. Yeah, if you want to support the channel or use the Epic Games Store, anything like that. So thank you. A lot of social medias. What are they going to show us now? That's right. Work in progress. New Inaros rework dev build. So here's how Inaros's passive now works. When he gets downed, you go into sand ghost dead Inaros mode where you hit enemies to revive. Once you hit enough enemies, you revive, right? It's better. It's cool. Overall, nice. Inaros is just Inaros, but better. First ability is a little uh, pocket sand where you enable finisher, right? You get some health back, all that. It's better, pretty much. It's just a better version of old pocket sand. So stat boosts and it's stronger, does better damage, stuff like that. So overall, it's a good thing. He's just old Inaros, but better. Second ability is a quick sand AOE, brings enemies together, does damage, right? It's better CC overall, good stuff. Stats are higher on it. Nice, nice. Not mad there. Third ability is essentially the armor boost ability, and it's just thrown on as a passive. You see armor in the bottom right, hits take away some armor. I think it's gonna hit with like corrosion, right? So it takes away armor. And it's, uh, yeah, it's good stuff. It also has some like status immunity, as well as just it's better than how it was before. So nice. Fourth ability is a scarab AoE attack. You throw down scarabs, they attack the enemies, they heal you, they kill enemies, they spawn a sand cat, like sand cavat, uh, little dudes to fight for you, and it kills enemies, heals you up, and it has better stats overall than all of your old damage, so... Yeah, that's how a Naros rework works. You can take a look at that. Improve visual representation, merge attributes of Devour and Sandstorm. Sandstorm's now second ability with increased casting and animation speed, opens up ground finishers. Separated Scarab Armor Mechanic from Scarab Swarm and made it an Aura's third ability. Scarab Swarm has improved Swarm Logic and a chance to turn enemies into Sand Kavats. Reworked uh, Negation Swarm Augment and swapped to Scarab Armor. TLDR, better, stronger, better working in Aros. Overall, not mad. Mwah, beautiful. That's the Anaros rework. Screenshot it if you want. Use it if you want. They have a lot of screenshots on Twitter as well, if you need anything. And I also screenshotted and threw a lot of stuff over onto Twitter and Instagram, Facebook, stuff like that. So thank you. Now, we have a ton of augment mods. I'm not going to go over each and every one of these, but I'll just think of a lot of these are really good. The Loki one, enemies who attack the decoy receive 300 random status effects. They said that one was actually three. A lot of uh, values around here might be swapped around. So this is still work in progress. This isn't like final dev build. Like this isn't final, like pushing out. So yeah, this is still in progress. Judge it how you will. Those are the first set of new augment mods. I think you just farm them via your regular standing, but I can't quite remember if they clarified. Then we have even more augments. Pretty cool. Marilina turns into a little uh, AOE, or sorry, not AOE, attacking flying over your shoulder turret you just get more stuff so if you want to go over all of these go over them yourself there's just too many of them there's not really worth it but more augment mods to make warframe stronger do more damage ureli nidus citrine lavos clairvo right okay steinax loki naja baruch chroma the baruch one looks really nice and a lot of them overall just look nice so all these new augment mods are gonna clap some cheeks okay they'll kill a lot of enemies with it Awesome. They showed them off a little bit with like Yureli. Here she is. Here's her Marilina just flying around with her, shooting with her, shooting water at enemies. Like there's not really all that much to look at. Here's Loki using decoy. Enemies hitting the decoy, getting some status, right? Look at it. Oh, they're hitting the decoy and they're getting status effects. Pretty simple stuff. So they just did a quick little showcase. So Dante and Bion, general changes. This one's better. They're changing Mirage, they're nerfing Nourish a little bit, and they're making Slam, I think, like a little better, technically. So, Mirage Eclipse change. No longer applies Lighting Logic, is now a tap or hold ability. So, you either tap, I think, for the damage increase, or you hold for the damage reduction. Either way, it'll make it less annoying, and it'll be make it more predictable, so... It's nerfed, I think, technically a little bit math-wise, so it might not be as good, but either way, I don't care. The lighting for Eclipse was kind of technically too annoying anyways. 
nourish invigoration changes, reduce effectiveness of Helmish, Helminth uh, version. Helminth was just too strong for nourish, nourish, it was nerfed, and that's just how it is because too many people use it. No shock there. Slam changes, AoE incorporated to scale with melee damage, uh, slam better in AoE. So this was the ability Helminth. You can see that Nourish was first and then the second was like Rhino Roar. And Nourish is almost double Rhino Roar. So it makes sense that they nerfed it too good. Makes sense, makes sense. And if you're gonna cry about it, lol, that's okay. Just cry about it, that's fine. You can do what you want, that's fair. Cry about it, sucks, it does suck. But I mean, it makes sense, so. Love it or hate it, do a backflip if you can. New uh, quality of life, gear wheel in the Warframe freaking orbiter that you can teleport around, gear wheel teleporter. So you know how you can't use your gear wheel in the orbiter for anything? Now you can, baby. Teleporting. Life's good again. Quality of life. I love it. New finisher animations for a lot of these dudos. Uh, look at that. Slap it in half. Oh my god. So beautiful. Slap that one. Ooh, ooh, throw its face to the side. This one just slap the hand. Just smack. No take in my popcorn. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. So cool. Good update. This is the general update. 56 Warframe Dante. Exalted Tome Noctua. Uh, all tie helmet, Sindana armor, two new incarnans, two new game modes, Intradi Disruption, Deep Archimedia, which is the new like Natrocelli type one, Steinac Deluxe, Naris Rework, Augment, Warframe Archon Shard Fusion. It'll be three Archon Shards to fuse into uh, a Tau Forged Archon Shard, so keep that in mind. And yeah, that is pretty cool. Pax East, Tenocon VIP, all of that's still going on. They just kind of said, yeah, like, good job, everybody. Good stream. Good one, long one, and a good time overall. So that is the Warframe dev stream recap. Let me know, love it, hate it. Did you get your Warframe Archon Shard? Did you not get your Warframe Archon Shard? Is everything on fire? <gasps> Slime affected by mods on weapon, but have AOE fall off. Yeah, so it's like, you know, better, would recommend. So just better, you know, good slam. Either way, yeah, that is it. So let me know what you think. And if you want to support the channel, there's many ways to do it. You can subscribe on Twitch where I casually stream sometimes here and there. Yeah, you know, where I do stuff. You can join the YouTube membership if you want to support me financially directly. Oh, we have Epic Games Creator Code Pupsker. We have all of the social medias down in the description and stuff. There's too much stuff, right? But yeah, I appreciate it. That's the dev stream. Enemy high levels in the deep arc media, so. We'll see how it goes, and overall it looks like a good update, so yeah. <laughs>